large diameter pipes. They are critical for many industries, particularly the gas and oil industries, and projects for which long distance pipe runs are required to transmit liquids over vast distances. To produce these giant pipes is not easy for companies. They include many stages, requiring strict technical factors. Today, join me to learn about how these giant steel pipes are produced, and let's see how modern their technology is. The initial step involves cutting the steel plates into appropriate size and shapes using different cutting methods, like shearing, flame cutting or sewing. This ensures that the plates are ready for further processing. The edges of the steel plates are then prepared, which involves removing any irregularities and ensuring that the edges are straight and correct. This can be done by process like bevelling or chamber ferry. Next the steel plates are bent to form a cylinder shape. This can be achieved through various methods like cold blending, hot bending, or roll bending, depending on the thickness and size of the plates. The bent plates are then welded together end to end to form a continuous cylinder pipe. This can be done through various welding processes like electric resistant welding, submerged arc welding, or high frequency induction welding, depending on the desired properties of the pipe. Manufactured by ERW Welding Metal, ERW is a type of the high frequency resistant welded welded steel pipe. The seamless welded steel pipe is divided into two types of AC welded steel pipe and two way welded steel pipe. AC welding according to frequency is divided into low frequency welding, intermediate frequency welding, super IF welding, and high frequency welding. High frequency welding is mainly used for the thin steel pipes. On the normal thickness of production, high frequency welding is divided into contact welding and induction welding. DC welding is often used for the small steel pipes. Therefore, high frequency welded pipes are included in ERW pipes, which is a high frequency welding process for manufacturing. ERW is the most advanced and economical steel pipeline in the field of storing and transporting oil and gas.
manufactured by DSAW welding method. DSAW pipe is made of a steel plate as a raw material, and it's often extruded to automatic double wire double sided submerged arc welding process. DSAW pipe is a simple, high efficiency, and low cost. It is steel pipe forming steel plate deformation evenly. The residual stress is a small and does not appear to scratch the surface on the phenomenon on. In the diameter and the thickness of the steel pipe size specification, can be used flexibly in the production of the large diameter thick. Seam steel pipe advantage is more obvious. The production process can be pre-welded after welding inside and outside to ensure the welding does not appear on the wrong side. Welding and a not penetration and other defects. The quality of the welding control easier. Pipe forming. After welding, the pipe is subjected to further forming process like sizing and shaping. This can involve passing the welded pipe through a series of roller or dies to ensure accurate dimensions and desired shape. In order to improve the mechanical properties of the pipe, it may undergo a heat treatment process such as annealing or quenching and tempering. This helps to enhance the strength, hardness and durability of the pipe. The surface of the steel pipe is then treated to ensure smoothness and protection against corrosion. This can be achieved through process like pickling, passivation, galvanizing or coating with anti-corrosive materials. The finished steel pipes are subjected to various non-destructive testing methods like ultrasonic testing, magnetic particular inspection or visual inspection to ensure the quality and integrity of the pipes. Robot welding is a relatively new application of robotics. Even though robots were first introduced into US industry during the 1960s, the use of the robots in welding did not take off until the 1980s, when the automotive industry began using robots extensively for spot welding. Since then, both the number of the robots used in the industry and the number of their application has grown greatly. In 2005, more than 120,000 robots were in use in the North American industry. About half of them were welding. Growth is primarily limited by high equipment costs and the resulting restriction to high production applications. In the manufacturing industry, companies constantly strive for improved quality and productivity while still keeping costs low. In order to make these improvements, manufacturing companies often turn to technology and this is especially true in the case of the welding. Welding is the most basic form in a process of joining two materials through the application of heat and pressure. When people think of welding, the word often conjures an image of a protective mask and a pair of the heavy gloves, handling a torch. While manual welding still has its place in the industry, a growing shortage of professional welders has left a substantial gap. The American Welding Society estimates that by 2020, there will be a shortage of 290,000 welding professionals. An increasing number of companies are investing in robotic welding setups.
Installing a robotic welding apparatus takes a great deal of consideration, planning and significant investment in time and money. However, companies that have implemented robotic welding in their producers have discovered innumerable long-term benefits. Robot arc welding has begun growing quickly just recently, and already it commands about 20% of industrial robot applications. The major components of the arc welding robots are the manipulator of the mechanical units and the controller, which acts as the robot's brain. The manipulator is what makes the robot move, and the design of the system can be categorized into several common types, such as a SCARA, a curtains coordinate robot, which uses different coordinate systems to direct the arms of the machine. The robot may weld a pre-programmed position by guided by machine vision or by a combination of two metals. However, the many benefits of robotic welding have proven to make it a technology that helps many original equipment manufacturers increase accuracy, repeatability, and throughput. One welding robot can do the work for several human welders. For example, in arc welding, which produces hot sparks and smoke, a human welder can keep the storage and work for roughly 30% of the time. For robots, the percentage is about 90. Technology of signature image processing has been developed since the late 1990s for analyzing electrical data in a real time collected from automated robotic welding, thus enabling an optimization of the welds. Robotic welding will continue to set a standard for speed and efficiency in the global welding market. And as robotic welding technology continues to advance, more and more companies will use it in their manufacturing process to save time and money. While robots' prominence may reduce the number of the human workers, it won't completely eliminate them, as humans are still more adaptive than robots. Robots will likely continue to be most popular in assembly lines, where the work is very tedious. For more specialized services, humans will continue to have essential roles to play. As more countries realize that robotic welding can help them remain competitive in the global market, robotic welding will only become more prominent. And as the countries lean toward more suitable, environmentally friendly manufacturing practices, robotic welding offers a solution that improves energy efficiency for less environmental impact and a greater profits.